Now to the latest in a series of stories from ABC Investigations. Over the past week, we've exposed allegations that Australian Special Forces killed up to 10 civilians during a deadly raid in Afghanistan. Also revealed was that the same weapon was allegedly planted on two Afghan civilians during another raid. And last night we heard that SAS operatives killed an unarmed civilian after mistaking him for a Taliban target who shared the same name. The Inspector General of Defence is believed to be in the final stages of his four-year inquiry into allegations of war crimes by Australian Special Forces. Tonight we look at the culture of the SAS soldiers who filmed themselves posing with a Confederate flag in Afghanistan. Mark Willisey has this exclusive report. It's a happy snap from the Three Squadron SAS tour of Afghanistan and it appears in a highlights reel edited by the soldiers themselves. This flag is a symbol of treason, it's a symbol of racism, and I'm stunned that an Australian Special Forces unit was displaying it. Hal Johnson did two tours of Afghanistan with the US Infantry and served with Australian forces in Aruzgan in 2012, the year the SAS took the Confederate flag photo. When I served with Australian troops and Anzac Day was represented, how would they have felt if I had flown an Ottoman flag that day? That was the flag of the enemy that killed Australians and New Zealanders at uh, Gallipoli. ABC Investigations has also obtained raw footage showing the SAS using the Confederate flag to guide in a US Black Hawk helicopter. Behind the flag are Afghan prisoners. Once the chopper lands, the flag is slung over an SAS soldier's shoulder and the detainees marched out. Well, I think the troopers know very much what uh, the Confederate flag represents and it does represent um, uh, slavery and uh, white supremacy and I think that uh, there's, in some way they are connecting with those ideas. ABC Investigations has spoken to an SAS patrol member who says he saw the Confederate flag held out the helicopter door while they were flying over Tarrant Cout on their way back to their base. Five years before, members of the SAS were cautioned for flying the Nazi flag on a patrol vehicle in Afghanistan. So the fact that that happened in 2007 and you were having this happening again five years later, when I was over there, um, I, I find to be an indication of uh, a, a lack of leadership uh, within the SAS. Defence has told the ABC it does not condone flags that support extremist ideologies and that members found to be associated with extremist ideologies could face administrative or disciplinary sanctions. Last week, the US Department of Defence announced a new policy effectively banning the display of the Confederate flag on all military property. Mark Willisey, ABC News.